up everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be unboxing my boxycharm box now i have already seen some spoilers on social media so pfft, to the spoilers but from what i see there's some really cool things in here so i came ready to play okay this is my clean face no products on not even mascara and y'all know how i am about mascara don't even have mascara on like we are 100 percent hoping for the best and hoping that i have just like maybe two products of some of the things that i've seen because man i've seen some really really good things so let's just go ahead and unbox this shall we i cannot wait this thing has been sitting on my table for like a week now so i'm just ready to dive in but i will let you guys have first glance I got a peek. <laughs> All right, so let's just dive on in. I'm going to do this like I always do. I will pull out the products. I'll let you know the pricing of the product, a little bit about it, um, because it does come with this cute little um, BoxyCharm sheet that goes over all of that. So I'll try to read that in a very small like snippet version while we go through these products. Um, so yes, it already looks like I got some of the cool things. Okay, first things first. First thing I see, you guys, and I was really dying, um, like, to the point where I was like, oh my god, please, like, almost praying that I had this in my box. I have literally never tried a Morphe brush, but this is the I Got This brush set. This retails for $12, so it is a steal for a brush set from them. Um, and this is basically four natural and synthetic eye brushes, um, and this is going to basically just help um, with anything to do with your eyes. So it does include the oval shadow brush, need it, a pro firm blending crease brush, who doesn't need that, tapered mini blender brush, and an angle liner brush. So that is that. Uh, so that I got this brush set retails for $12. I'm so excited about that, you guys. So excited. Okay. So the next thing I see is this ginormous <laughs> box. So this is Pure Heels. This is the Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. This retails for $24. I will take it out here in just a second so you can actually see the full bottle. Um, but this is basically a uh, premium charcoal and oriental botanical ingredients. They help cleanse um, your skin waste um, and the pine needle extracts and mineral ingredients help skin to be moisturized and glossy. So just really a nice um, cleansing foam. So that's kind of what it looks like in there. Um, it's really actually cute packaging. So we'll see what it looks like outside of the box. Okay, so next. Okay. Uh, okay, QMS Meta Cosmetics. So this is Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. This retails whoo, for $105, you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is a lightweight sheer color adaptive cream with vitamins. It helps to blur imperfections to reveal visibly glowing even skin. Combination of a skin perfecting light tint and hydrating formula makes this an ideal day cream. We're going to try this out. This is why I wore a no makeup face. <sighs> $105 though guys so it better be bomb you know what I'm saying okay next this is okay boom y'all I came ready for this stuff today okay so this is the um real her I think that's how you say it we'll go with it it is the definer brow pencil I've actually never heard of this brand so sorry if you love it but I just have not um, it retails for $16. This is the micro tip pencil. It allows you to create a subtle look um, for your brows. Open that up and maybe try it out too. Since I got nothing on. Okay, and then last but certainly not least. Ah, yes. Okay, so this is the Violet Boss Essential Stew Palette. This retails for $36. There are 10 eyeshadows in here. Oh, and I cannot wait to look at them. So that's the box, you guys. And literally, they give you some tools to even create an eye look with this. I'm not going to do all of that for you guys today. But I do really want to try this Active Glow, like, tinted day cream. I feel like I need to do this. I just, I want to. Um, and let's just pick a brush. Because I'm not going to put a, this on with a beauty blender. But I will put this on with a brush. Um, so I will just kind of go in with like a small, like simple, let's do a really lightweight brush. So I'm going to go in with super lightweight brush. Um, that way it's just going to kind of rub it naturally on my skin 
and we'll see what happens. So I am gonna put this on the back of my hand. Y'all, this retails for $105, so I'm really just kind of hoping this is pretty good because if it's not, I'm gonna be kind of sad. Um, so it does look a little bit dark for me, but we're gonna try it. So let's just take it on this lightweight brush and put this uh, kind of all around uh, my skin here. We'll put some on my forehead and let's just see what this looks like at the end of it because it does say it is supposed to almost like correct itself. So let's just see how well this does because I'm not too sure of that, okay? I'm gonna hold up this mirror here um, just so I can make sure I'm applying this in all the right spaces. So I'm definitely picking up on the fact that it does not like a brush um, to apply it. I will tell you that it looks extremely cakey um, on my face right now. Just so you know, <laughs> we're caked up. So I did not have a beauty blender like ready or kind of wet for this moment at all. <laughs> So we might have to give this a fair chance another time. Actually, pause on that. We'll give it a fair chance right now. 10 seconds at most. Pause. Okay, as promised, I went and got a beauty blender because I just, I just don't feel like I was doing it justice with a brush. You can kind of really see like how streaky it was. So I will apply just a, like one more pump on maybe two. Um, onto my beauty blender here and we're just going to kind of tap it out and that way hopefully it'll kind of help fill in um, some of the issues that were created when I did not do it justice because <laughs> now I felt, I felt really bad I was like you know what this is a very expensive product so let me do it right so so far the beauty blender helps so definitely apply this with a beauty blender and not a brush the Beauty Blender really kind of helps kind of put it on the skin. Um, really kind of helps it not look so cakey. It looks more natural. It gives your skin like this really natural glow. And I'm not mad about it. So that's where we're at. So there it is. There you have it. That's what it looks like. And I'm honestly, I'm really not mad about it. Like, it's a very nice sleek look it's not a full coverage so don't get it twisted like it's about to work like a foundation because it's definitely not but it just gives you this like hydrated glowy like we're here for it I don't have to wear makeup because my skin looks bomb.com kind of vibe um and I'm not, I'm really not mad at it so I actually really enjoy this even though it looked like it was super dark I think I can really kind of make this work if I blend it down into my neck um, it could really work for me. So I like it. And it does not smell bad. <laughs> I was expecting it to smell horrible. Um, but it actually smells really, really good. I'm impressed. I really like it. I've actually never heard of this brand. Um, so shout out QMS. This is great. Thank you very much. I'm excited about that for reals. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and look at this um, eyebrow pencil really quickly that we got. I've actually never heard of this brand either, but this is also why I get a BoxyCharm box because they come with full-size products typically of like brands that I've never really heard, but they always end up being like super awesome and I end up buying everything from them. <laughs> everything I have in my entire life, I just buy from them. So of course the spoolie always gets me. That's like my favorite part about these little brushes. And then of course, if you guys can see, so there's that shade in the pencil. I'm not gonna do anything super crazy. You guys know I don't do super crazy brows anyways, but I will just kind of go in here and draw some like natural um, shapes in my brows, kind of fill that in. Um, that way you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So right now we are looking pretty good. It's a little darker than what I normally use, I think for my eyebrow pencils. Um, especially if I'm just filling in like right now I'm not building anything I'm literally just kind of filling in as I go kind of drawing in short spurts so that's kind of what we're looking like so it's actually really not bad I'm gonna go ahead and spoolie it out so it looks a little more natural and boom 
that's really not bad you guys it actually looks really really nice and it's just dark enough to be like bam you have a natural brow like i love a natural brow shape those who know me and follow my youtube journey know that i am not very big on drawing on my brows i'm very much a natural brow shape girl um, I like to just kind of fill in what I've got. And I don't like to do anything super extra with it. To each their own, right? Okay, so we'll spoolie that out too. And I will let you see the matching pair. I will say this glides on like super nice. The pigment is great. It's really easy to use. I even really love this spoolie. It's very firm, um, but it gets every single bristle. So I love it. This is great. I will definitely be shopping with Real Her Cosmetics and seeing what else they have available because I really did enjoy this uh, pencil. So there's that. Okay, next let's look at, where's my eyeshadow? Let's look at the eyeshadow palette. <sighs> So this is Violet Voss. I don't own anything of hers either. So sorry, guys. <laughs> Ugh, I have my favorites and I stick with it. And I'm really terrible about like finding like new and popular and all the things, you know. I just kind of do what I like. Um, okay, so this is her Pro Series set. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so of course, mini um, mirror, which I adore. But there's her pigments. I'll kind of hold them up close so you guys can see. They look like they're super beautiful. She does have uh, four mattes um, in here um, and six um, glitter shades. So I will just kind of keep it simple. I think I might actually do something with this really quickly. Um, nothing too super crazy. I'm literally just going to go in with this beige color here as like a base for the whole um, brow really quickly. Just so you guys can kind of see some of these shades. Okay, so this right here. On my shadow, of course, I know there's no primer. I'm not doing anything super crazy, right? This is just so you guys can see shade color. So please don't come after me about not knowing what I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so I am going in with the clay shade next. So we've used um, this first one here as the all over shade. And now I'm going in with clay. I'm going to pop that in my crease really quickly. So we're just kind of going in my crease and a little bit above and a little bit below. And what that's going to do is basically help me set up a transition shade because I will be doing a full um, glitter on my eyelid. Okay, full glitter shade. Um, she doesn't have much else that I can really work with. Um, I'm sure I can do like a corner with the dark brown here, which is called chocolate brown. But for right now, I don't want to go too smoky or too dark. So I'm literally just going to keep it like this and then add that pigment onto my eyelid. So what I'm going to do is I'm feeling cute. So I'm going to go with the rose gold and just pop that on my lid. So far, I've really liked it. Um, there's not a whole lot of fallout, which is really prevalent um, in a lot of eyeshadow palettes these days. Um, and the shadings are really nice. They blend pretty well. Um, this one had a little bit of fall off in the beginning, but it's not on my face in an extreme. This would look super pretty on top of a cut crease. I'll just let you know that now because it's very um, transparent. Where most glitters, some of them have like that darker like back layer this one it is a little transparent so do note that this will look a lot better with a cut crease but i just don't want to take up more time of your day so there's a cute little eye look with the violet voss super fast super quick and i only used three shades and you're basically ready to go for the day so there's that this box was awesome it came with basically a whole face <laughs> like i'm so excited you guys this is probably the best boxy charm box that i've ever gotten and i'm just like yeah totally worth it if you don't have a boxy charm box please go get one i promise 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 you won't regret it thanks for watching you guys see you next time